Paul, next topic to talk about is this pretty interesting article courtesy of Slate, um, which has been causing a bit of a stir on the old social medias. It says, I'm a little bummed that Adele has lost weight. Yes, I know this is not about me, but it's not just about Adele either. Pretty interesting article, all things considered. And there has been a lot of backlash with Adele's weight loss. I think when she first came out, people were, you know, again, you know, all in getting their knickers all in a twist which i never really understood but i guess again because i'm not really a fan of her music i don't really get what the hype is i kind of get the impression that people kind of um, resonated with her as a woman and how she presented herself and the fact that she was a bigger girl and still a massive pop star in the maybe the same way they kind of relate to a megan trainer right because as much as you know it's great to listen to uh ariana grande and all these type of people and taylor swift you know most women in the world probably look like adele when she was fat or megan trainer when she was bigger i don't know if she's not bigger now but they basically look more women look like them than they look like an ariana grande or a taylor swift right or even like a rodrigo or olivia or whatever so I get why there'd be a lot more connection there and I'm sure maybe in her lyrics there's definitely bars about being big and eating flipping muller corners and whatnot I'm sure that exists in there I'm definitely I'm sure but I never really understood but I never really understood the kind of the other side of it where people get upset when their favorite artist who happens to be bigger represents who they are gets loses weight because there must be a quiet realization something that you kind of sleep at night and you know when you're tossing and turning where you kind of know deep down that the size that you are isn't necessarily the best thing for your kind of um uh your mortality <laughs> options or possibilities or whatnot right or prospects right you know it's not maybe something that's gonna you know maybe allow you to hang around as long as possible to look after your children you know it's not the best thing you know deep down obviously it's hard to lose weight like i've said before i've kind of had the issues of going up and down in weight over the years and it's probably outside of maybe learning a language maybe one of the hardest things to do legitimately um but obviously when you do do it it is something that kind of fills you with a lot of kind of um you know um it's something that does kind of make you feel way happier than anything else would make you feel because you know how difficult it is to do especially just looking at yourself changing over a period of time it's pretty much one of the best feelings you can get for sure so i'd never really understood the kind of backlash in that respect but again i do like the fact that people are being honest and kind of saying out loud that similar to what i was saying about weird parasocial relationships when they come to people or listen to podcasts there are people out there who legitimately have connections with people so especially celebrities based on what they look like based on where they're from based on the struggles they've been through and that person is basically a kind of example for them that oh if they can do it i also can do it. obviously you know you're not going to become most people aren't going to become you know chart topping multi-millionaire songstress but still the fact that she's been able to put herself front and center be on covers and magazines have people desire her in every sort of way whether they want her to be her mum or a wife or whatnot that is going to give somebody hope out there that kind of sees themselves in her so i definitely get that but this is a really batshit crazy article regardless and we're going to quickly go through it and see what this writer is basically getting at called shannon palace and he said the following she's been skinny for a while first in an instagram post last year then hosting saturday night live this week we got skinny Adele in a music video ahead of a release of her album 30 many media outlets and random internet commentators have celebrated the adele um, for her becoming skinny this has been met with very specific form of backlash which goes something like adele is a ma is a mega talent whose music is worth blasting and repeat no matter the singer's size please stop treating this as an accomplishment the backlash is correct <laughs> yeah even as i know that celebrating does weight loss is wrong i'm struggling with something different which is feeling a little upset about it which is weird after all adele is an adult human woman that's a really strange thing to write in an article and adele is an adult human woman and i'm a feminist she can do whatever she wants wrote kt sturino an influencer and author a body talk on her instagram post about adele slim down adding the hashtag weight isn't news the public seems unable to receive it neutrally Neu to sorry the public seems too unable to receive it with neutrality wrote sakai cool back when adele's uh, skinny first surfaced to assign a value in any direction to adele's weight loss um excitement or disappointment is to over involve oneself in the dynamics of a stranger's body it certainly it certainly seems like adele's herself would like us all to stop commentating on her corporal form as she said in vogue's november story my body's been objected my entire career well she didn't you know i like when people say stuff that someone says but in the quote doesn't say what they say right she says so adele 
herself would like us to stop commentating, but she didn't say that. She said, my body's all been objective. My body's been objectified my entire career, right? It's really odd. But this opening statement or this opening paragraphs or so of this article is really bizarre because it's basically trying to get us to kind of rewire how we're basically hardwired in terms of acknowledging accomplishments that are incredibly hard to do because we all know or we've all been maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit underweight over time, right? Someone's underweight and see somebody put on loads of lean muscle, it's going to be really impressed. Somebody that's been overweight and obese who see somebody lose a ton of weight, it's going to be utterly impressed because we all know how difficult it is. So to kind of change our reaction to it, so we stop doing well done posts under, or well done comments under people's posts when they, you know, have a before and after, it's utterly, utterly insane. Like, that is never going to happen, really. If anything, the conversation should be, hey, you should not kind of seek validation in what you look like body-wise, but you should also seek kind of, you should also kind of long for self-love, right? Internal love, stuff that doesn't kind of have to come from your achievements, right? You can basically wake up in the morning and feel like you're a decent human being based on the actions and the way people value you in your community and your family more so than what you look like. And obviously, if you look great, that's a kind of the cherry on top of the cake, but it's not the entire thing, right? You shouldn't kind of frame your entire self-worth based Based on the comments and the likes of what other people think but this is asking us and requesting that we change how we're hardwired like we shouldn't look at incredible achievements which it is right losing anything more than 20 pounds of fat from your body is absolutely difficult to do really 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 hard tell ox anybody who's tried to stick to a diet for flipping five days how difficult it is just to lose a couple of pounds let alone 20 let alone 30 40 50 however much they'll end up losing to the point where people are like whoa who's completely different right people are always going to be impressed by it especially if you keep it off for a long time it's very very impressive it's always it will be we're never going to change that but even proposing it is utterly batshit crazy to be honest um and it continues <clears throat> but i still been thinking about this all week the thing that adele has a body sorry the thing is that adele had that body type that is not really frequently represented in the world of mega celebrity that she occupies and partly for that reason i think it's okay to be disappointed that adele lost a ton of weight i certainly am i don't need to explain to you that the world is very very fat phobic to the extent that going up a size or two in jeans as i have in time since adele's 21 rocketed to the fame is reasonably nerve-wracking experience if you manage to gain weight or ex or exist in a fat body only with a side effect of feeling a little anxiety you're doing pretty well i'm using the word fat here by the way on purpose activists and writers have made the point again and again that though it can be a slang around as an insult it's not a bad word it's a neutral even term as Aubrey Gordon a co-host of popular podcast maintenance phase has noted taking the teeth out of the word fat displaying the fat as just as normal and even beautiful way to exist is important now this I can kind of vibe with even though it's been preposterous to even say that there is anything wrong with the word and I don't know yeah I, let's just continue we live in a world where eating disorders run rampant affecting normal people and moneyed celebrities alike in the 2020 documentary miss americana taylor swift talks about her own struggle going from being very very skinny to just very skinny the letter meant fielding rumors that she was pregnant if the pressure to thin um to look thin was always born down to was always born down to us in some ways it's getting worse Today, apps like Instagram and Facetune allow us to you to manage and slim down. Use all or use our images with a further celebrity publicity team trying to land a client a lead in the Pepsi commercial. A lot to digest there. Um, the idea that the world is very fat phobic is. I don't know that's just strange i think people tease each other and insult each other about differences all the time whether it's your accent the way your ears look the way your eyes are your forehead your size your height how short you are people just do that right i don't think it's either a fat phobic thing obviously when it comes to mating especially between males and females there is the reality that for the most part if you're a bigger girl you are definitely going to limit the options that you have available but you're still going to have far more options as a girl being fat than you than you are as a boy it just is a matter of the fact i don't care what anyone says to ask most boys who are bigger how many kind of sexual partners or relationships they've had over their years and i'd imagine it'd be way way lower than what a girl would have because i'm you know fortunately for women they have the bits and parts that are usually more in demand than the guy's bits and parts so you're always going to have some sort of appeal and in 
some cultures, um, bigger women are looked at as a bit of a prize, right? You go to any bashment party and you're a bigger white girl, you're probably going to get dicked down rather, rather quickly. Again, gross thing to say, but you know what I mean and you know it's true. Cool, no problem. Um, the fat thing, taking it back and, you know, empowering the world and using it as something to kind of describe who you actually are thing is just, again, weird and bizarre because it, sh it kind of says that there was an issue with the world in the first place, which it wasn't. Things are either fat, things are either big, things are skinny, slim. These are descriptive words that we use to just describe mass or whatever it may be, or just, you know, a b body anatomy or to describe bits of flipping meat and shit to kind of take that word away because it might upset you or make you feel bad about yourself is pretty much insane i have to be completely honest especially a word like that it's just innocuous you know you can't say fat is anywhere near similar to saying the n-word or shit or any other kind of racial slur i don't want to hear that nonsense like you can just allow it because you know you can change what you look like you can't change your skin color let's just allow it right let's not even go down that route it continues i have many personal mantras to bulwark um to bulwark here against all of this i don't know what that word means actually what does bulwark Manchester the ball work what's that mean here look up right is it here look up ba 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 bulwark or bulwark what's that mean bulwark bulwark it means a personal thing that acts as a defense the security forces are a bulwark against the breakdown of society okay cool um one of them is is from storino the influence and body activist activist the what the influence and body inclusivity activist Jesus, man, you call any, like, surely putting activists at the end of anything is going to really cheapen the term activist, right? There are people who are really doing, you know, activism and putting their legitimate life on the lines. And then you include influence and body acoustic or what i don't know in this continue um whenever the body is uh, whenever bad body thoughts start rolling i shout to myself nope another is wow Adele was very talented very beautiful and also fat or it used to be was it the healthiest thing in the world to pin one's self-esteem on the shape of another person clearly not because people change there is an entire issue with external validation it cannot be counted on it's also kind of weird to care about the body size of this one lady i don't know obviously but as i said in the beginning i also understand that people don't have many we don't have many role models to look out to look for especially sometimes in your family right you're born into your family you can't choose them you might have a family full of absolute losers so you might have to look externally for people to look up to people to frame your life around people to kind of maybe frame your outlook on life and maybe your the career decisions whatever you have to look externally sometimes and maybe you kind of will take one part of somebody's struggle um or their journey and use that as something to kind of you know mirror your life around and another person then kind of use that to kind of frame or build your avatar of your favorite person or somebody you kind of hope to be in the future and maybe some people took the fact that Adele was a bigger girl but also they'd be able to perform on stage and talk confidently and stuff and use that as something that they could kind of cling on to as hope for themselves and their lives i don't think there's anything bad in that but tying up your entire self-esteem in around that person is a bit batshit crazy and also again upset when they lose weight is bordering on insane but we move but there is a problem sorry but here is the problem most people who have excelled in the entertainment business are not fat they tend to be very very skinny too very skinny i wonder a lot where we'd be if the greatest poet of all time had been a size 10 in his high school as she was trying to get a big break early days including modeling for abercrombie that's why it tends to feel joyous when a talented non-skinny person makes it through the filter adele was also very very conventionally beautiful <laughs> you can't win in it you're either very conventionally beautiful you got white passing you're this there's not there's no amount of struggle sometimes there's no amount of kind of um um adversity cards that you can have that can make you completely bulletproof the only way you can be bulletproof it feels like with these type of people is if you're somebody like myself you happen to be black but then again you have to be black you have to share certain opinions if you don't then you're then cast to one side and you looked at like a bit of a coon like a bit of a coconut and stuff which is again utterly annoying but this is wild so not only was Adele big but she was also big and what beautiful passing right she was able to because she was white she was able to go into certain rooms it's like how how many many like how much struggle is enough struggle and also enough chill out the images of such person make the world slightly less bad place that's why those major magazine photo shoot prior to the skinny photo shoot did a little bit for me now i have a new thought popping up in my um when i look at adele i would like to be skinnier too as adele also said in the interview i understand why some women especially were her vision represents a lot of women why didn't she talk in that interview i was wondering i was actually wondering maybe she it was again maybe it was a clever thing for her team to tell her not to but i wonder why she didn't speak about how it how 
speak about her journey to get there because she obviously had to work very hard to do so i wonder why they didn't speak about that like why she decided to get skinny why did she how did she keep the weight off for so long like especially after spending your majority of your, especially if you spend the majority of your life being big to hold the weight off for that long as she has now is a real big achievement so she didn't speak about that one bit she just kind of you know spoke about how she feels sorry or how she understands that people will feel upset about how she looks like she says yeah i understand why some women especially were hurt visually i represent a lot of women um ideally i would have not thought about what someone else's weight after all i am the firmly in the camp that adele is a human person who gets to do whatever she wants but this is the one thing that thinks is worth remembering she's also a highly produced image and given the bruv what are you talking about so you double speak here. you say she's a human person but she's also a produced image so what do you want do you follow the image is how you wrap yourself around or do you follow the person like make your mind up and given the water we swim in it makes sense if you or i feel a little bit sad that the image has changed i'm not sending any blame to her direction that blame ought to be reversed to the fearless um to the sorry to the faceless masses of people making the choices about whom to give record deals and vote covers it's a lot harder to feel mad at them i don't know why they are really i don't know who they are really but i'm trying my best until we live in a world where we can comfortably exist at any size we're going to inevitably feel things when once they're to you new few fat women so which change it's okay to feel a little bit of disappointment but the elephant in a room is the people who are making these unfair or unachievable beauty standards are women really for the most part the fashion the beauty industry is one is run specifically by women and you would say what well, homosexual men right for the most part that's who runs the fashion and beauty industry and women love homosexual men men love especially straight women it's just a thing that they love or women in general they kind of hang around each other right that's the thing so it's not necessarily men out there who are the ones kind of pushing women to lose weight or to be a certain thing maybe their preferences might cause a bit of pressure it might put an unneeded expectation but for the most part the images that you're seeing that are being portrayed on websites like you know pretty little things and all this sort of stuff they're coming legitimately from teams of women who are crafting these editorials and these marketing campaigns to get women to buy these clothes and items and they're purposely putting girls in clothes who are you know between the ages of like 18 or maybe sometimes 16 and 25 peak time to be skinny and look like you know you don't eat that much and you can get away with their high metabolisms and then kind of marketing that stuff to middle-aged women who are just you know mums and shit you know working a job and just living life and then those mums are kind of putting the pressure to kind of attain that kind of frame attain that kind of level of elasticity in the skin and boxomness in the bosoms and whatnot and it's not achievable especially if you're an older person so you know you're never going to look like that there's no kind of push it feels like in that industry in fashion and beauty to kind of have a real women represented maybe in the last few years there has been a lot of these upstart kind of brands and stuff are featured a lot of women who kind of look like average everyday women cool but for the most part what still exists out there are very slim looking women you know with again elasticated skin perky boobs high firm bums and stuff which a lot of women don't have so you know if anyone needs to change it's those industries they need to kind of look in the mirror and decide to change those kind of things and then maybe society will kind of follow suit but to expect us to not congratulate somebody for losing 60 to 100 pounds online is utterly utterly insane it legitimately is but i also again have sympathy and understand why somebody who legitimately saw there was like a example of someone who kind of broke the mold and kind of bucked the trend that was able to kind of win despite not looking conventionally beautiful or whatnot cool but the fact that people are now saying she had she is conventionally beautiful even when she was big and she had the kind of privilege and that respect and because she's white it's just i don't know man i don't know i can't i can't sometimes it's just it just becomes too much in it it becomes too much but again crashes to adele i feel for the girls out there who aren't in that position to look that way i know it can be difficult but again you know if you can try to do so do it if not then you know i guess it is what it is and